So welcome to Poetry Out Loud uh, 2022. Um, obviously, this is a couple years now that Poetry Out Loud has been a little different because of uh, COVID protocol. Um, but I uh, just want to start uh, by saying thank you so much to the judges um, and to everyone involved, and particularly uh, thanks to Frank, Sarah, and Kat for agreeing to entertain us with their um, awesome memorization and performance skills. So there are going to be two separate rounds. Um, round one, each one of them will go, and random drawing, I believe, decided the order of Frank, then Sarah, then Kat. Um, after each person reads, there will be about 30 seconds to a minute while the judges, all in their own spaces, will be scoring. And then Ms. Brandwood will let us know when the next uh, reader can go. So please, especially those of you in this room, if you could just kind of keep it quiet in between uh, the poets so that the judges can get their judging done um, in their respective spaces. Um, all right, poets, are we ready? All right, without further ado, uh, first and foremost, we have Frank, who will be reciting the Appalachian Book of the Dead by Charles Wright. Sunday, September Sunday, outdoors, like an early page from the Appalachian Book of the Dead. Sunlight lavishes brilliance on every surface. Doves settle surreptitious angels on tree limb and box branch. A crow calls deep in its own darkness. Something like water takes on just there, beyond the horizon, just there. Steady clock. Go in fear of abstractions. Well, possibly. Meanwhile, they are the strata our bodies rise through, the sear veins our skins rub off on. For instance, whatever enlightenment there might be houses compassion and affection. Those two tributaries, which river above our lives, whose waters we sense the sense of late at night, and later still. Uneasy, suburbanized, I drift from the lawn chair to the back porch to the dwarf orchard, testing the grass and border garden. A stillness is in the passageways of paradise bell jars the afternoon. Leaves like ex votos and hard and shine under the endlessness of heaven. Such skeletal altars, such vacant sanctuary. It always amazes me how landscape recalibrates the station for the dead. How what we see jacks up the odd quotient, what we don't see. How God's breath reconstitutes how we're walking up and walking down. First glimpse of autumn, stretched tight and snicked. A bad facelift, flicks in and flicks out, a virtual reality. Time to begin the long division. All right, up next, we have Sarah White, Reciting Song of the Powers by David Mason. Sarah. Song of the Powers by David Mason. Mine, said the stone, mine is the hour. I crush the scissors, such is my power. Stronger than wishes, my power alone. Mine, said the paper, mine are the words that smother the stone with imagined birds. Dreams of the flow from the mind of the shaper. Mine, said the scissors, mine all the knives, gashing through paper's ethereal lives. Nothing so proper as clattering wishes. As stone crushes scissors, as paper stuffs stone, and scissors cut paper, all and alone. So heave up your paper and scissor your wishes, 
and upward the stone from the top of the hill. They all end a little. As you will, you will. Up next, we have Kat Bukowski reciting Cathedral of Salt by Nick Flynn. Cathedral of Salt by Nick Flynn. Beneath all this, I'm carving a cathedral of salt. I keep the entrance hidden. No one seems to notice the hours I'm missing. I'll bring you one day. It's where I go when I hang up the phone. Neither you nor your soul is waiting for me at the end of this. I know that. Nearly cleared away the salt from hues I carved. The, the see-through altar, the opaque panes of glass that depict the stations of our cross. Here is the day we met. Here is the day we remember we met. The air down here will kill us, some say. Some wear paper masks. Some still imagine the air above the green trees, thick with bees building solitary nests out of petals. What is the name for this? Ineffable? The endless white will blind you, some say. <sighs> but what is there to see that we have not already seen? Oh, some say it is like poking a stick into a river. You might as well write, simply write about the stick or the river. All right, round two, everyone. Up next, we have Frank again with Path Past Lives Therapy by Charles Simic. Well, it's my cause, I will be reciting Past Lives Therapy by Charles Simic. They explained to me the bloody bandages on the floor of the maternity ward at Rochester, New York. Here at the backache I acquired, bowing to my old master. Did he stop putting thumbtacks around my bed? He showed me an officer on horseback, waving a saber next to a burning farmhouse, and a barefoot woman in a nightgown, throwing stones after him and calling him Lucifer. I was a straw-headed boy, in patched overalls, from dark chicken boots in my hair. Some even laid eggs. As I played my ukulele, and my mother and father crossed themselves. Next, I saw myself inside an abandoned gas station constructing a spaceship out of a coffin. Red traffic cone, cement mixer, and ear warmers, and a church lady fainted seeing me in my underwear. Some days, however, they opened door after door always to a different room, and could not find me. There'd be only a small squeak now and then, as if a miner's canary got caught in a mouse trap. Thank you. <laughs> Two more poems. Up next, we have Sarah White again. The Tables Turned by William Wordsworth. Table's turn by William Wordsworth. Up, up, my friends, and quit your books, or surely you'll go double. Up, up, my friends, and clear your looks. Why all this spoil and trouble? The sun above the mountain's head, a freshening western mellow, through all the long green fields has spread his first sweet evening yellow. Books to the dull and endless strife, come here the woodland minute. How sweet his music on my life, there's more of wisdom in it. And the hark how blithe the fossil sings, he too is no mean creature. Come forth into the light of things, but nature be your teacher. She has a world of ready wealth, our minds and hearts to bless. Spontaneous wisdom breathed by help, truth breathed by cheerfulness. An impulse from a vernal wood may teach you more of man, or moral evil and of good than all the sages can. How sweet is the lore which nature brings, our meddling intellect. This shapes the beauteous forms of things, 
be murdered to dissect. Enough of science and of art. Close up those barren leaves. Come forth and bring with you a heart that watches and receives. And lastly, we have Kat Bikoski with I'm Offering This Poem by Jimmy Santiago Bach. I am offering this poem by Jimmy Santiago Banca. I am offering this poem to you since I have nothing else to give. Keep it like a warm coat when winter comes to cover you, or like a pair of thick socks the cold cannot bite through. I love you. I have nothing else to give you, so it is a pot full of yellow corn to warm your belly in winter. It is a scarf for your head to wear over your hair, to tie up around your face. I love you. Keep it. Treasure it as you would if you were lost in the wilderness, needing direction. And tucked away in the corner of your drawer like a cabin or hogan in dense wood, come knocking and I will answer. Give you direction, let you warm yourself by this fire, rest by this fire and make you feel safe. I love you. It is all I have to give and all anyone needs to live and to go on living inside when the whole world outside no longer cares if you live or die. Remember, I love you. What a lovely sentiment to end on. I feel like those were a lot of pretty heavy poems thematically. That one was also heavy, but to end on an assertion of love certainly felt nice. All right, everybody, hold tight. We will find out our winner shortly. Uh, before we find out, certainly I think that we could give all three of them uh, a round of applause again for their excellent work. I want to start by saying that, as you can imagine, all three of them got very high scores, but eking it out with the highest score, Frank Pods. Congratulations. All right, so Frank will be representing Doan in the regional competition for the second time in his Doan career. Uh, we got to go two years ago, um, where Frank did a great job. This time, because of the pandemic, unfortunately, it will be virtual. But um, but yeah, excellent. Two times representing the school in your tenure is really impressive. All right, I guess any any final announcements, Ms. Brandwood, before we head to next class? Um, thank you so much to all the performers. Amazing work. Um, again, taking on additional memorization right now. Who has the brain space for that? So beautiful, beautiful work.